Good morning, children. I hope everybody is safe. Today we are going to study about seventh standard first lesson, nutrition in plants. The last year in six standard year study, what is food and the from what are the components of food and what we get from food. So here we are going to study about the nutrition in plants. From the name itself, it shows nutrition. The nutrition means a process of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body is called nutrition. Means how we are taking the food and how it is utilized by the body. So now here in plants, there are two types of nutrition. One is autotrophic mode of nutrition, another one is heterotrophic mode of nutrition. So what is meant by autotrophic mode of nutrition? The mode of nutrition in which organism prepare their own food by themselves by using various components. That is called the autotrophic mode of nutrition. So this autotrophic mode of nutrition takes place only in plants. So how this autotrophic mode of nutrition takes place in plants? So the first of all, the method through which it prepares food is called photosynthesis. So what is meant by photosynthesis? Photo means light, synthesis means combine. So light you know, from sun they get light. Synthesis, what are they going to synthesize? So here we need four raw materials for photosynthesis. The first one is carbon dioxide, water, chlorophyll, sunlight. So these four photo four components, how it is going inside the plant so that the leaf prepares food. Everybody knows the leaf is called the kitchen of the plant. So now we will see how the leaf prepares food by the process of photosynthesis. So first one, the carbon dioxide. How this carbon dioxide enters into the plant? You know that in the leaf surface, the stomata is there. The stomata is a tiny hose which is guarded by the guard cells. So this, through this stomata, the carbon dioxide enters. Now here the carbon dioxide enters. Now the second raw material is water. The water is absorbed by the roots and it is conducted by the tissues of the stem and it goes inside the leaves. So here water. Now the third one chlorophyll. So what is meant by chlorophyll? Everybody know that the leaves are green in color because of the presence of the green pigment chlorophyll. So now this chlorophyll is able to capture the sunlight. So because since the chlorophyll is present here, they capture the sunlight which falls on the leaves. Now you understood how these four raw materials the leaf receive. One is water, the chlorophyll and the carbon dioxide and in the presence of sunlight. Now you must be knowing that whether the plants prepare food during night. The during night the plants cannot prepare food because there is no sunlight. So now you see the chemical reaction takes place in the leaves. See here, the water plus carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll the product is formed is called the carbohydrate. The carbohydrate is produced and it is stored in the form of starch. And along with that, the oxygen also produced. So there are two things are produced. One is carbohydrate and another one is oxygen. Now this equation is called the chemical equation, the word and the word equation. Water plus carbon dioxide. In the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, leaf prepares food. So from this we can define what is photosynthesis. So what is photosynthesis? The process of preparing food by the leaves, the 
with the help of water carbon dioxide and chlorophyll in the presence of sunlight so what do we get we get carbohydrates and oxygen so now this oxygen is the by product we can say now you can say how this photosynthesis is very much useful otherwise what are the significance of photosynthesis because the first of all we get food from the plants so without food any living things cannot live so the first one the significance is we get carbohydrates from the plants and the next one is oxygen the oxygen is very much useful for our breathing so these are the two things which are very much essential so like this only plant can prepare food but not all the plants are preparing food so that one they will go we will study in the next part heterotrophic mode of nutrition so here what we have studied first one the nutrition and there are two types of nutrition that is autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic mode of nutrition and the next one autotrophic mode of nutrition and from this we can say the plants are called the autotrophs because they prepare their own food now next one photosynthesis through the process of photosynthesis they prepare food so for photosynthesis these are the four raw materials which are very much essential and then they prepare food in the form of carbohydrate which is stored in the form of in the leaves it is stored in the form of starch and then the oxygen is released into the atmosphere that is very much useful for our breathing okay children so now the assignment questions the first one define nutrition second one mention the raw materials for nutrition third one write the word equation for photosynthesis but 
they do not have the roots. But the fungus, they do they can't prepare food. So these two, alga and fungus, they live each other. They live together and they help each other to prepare food. So the fungus will take, will give the shelter to the alga and supplies with water. But the alga prepares food and gives to the fungus. So like that, these two organisms are living together and helping each other, otherwise share their shelter and food. So this association is called the symbiotic nutrition. In this, both organisms are benefited. Now another example, Rhizobium bacteria. This Rhizobium bacteria is a type of bacteria which lives in the root nodules of the leguminous plants. For example, peas, peas, like that, the pulses, pulse plants. So in that roots they live. So what do they do means to, for the healthy growth of the plant, they need nitrogen. So but the nitrogen is there in the atmosphere. So this rhizobium bacteria convert this nitrogen into a soluble form. So when it is it makes it into soluble form, it mixes in the soil. So this and our plants which are growing, that means the leguminous plants which absorb this nitrogen and then they grow. So like that, these, these two are living together and they are helping each other with the shelter and the food. So there are four types of heterotrophic mode of nutrition. One is parasitic mode of nutrition, insectivorous mode of nutrition and psychotropic mode of nutrition and symbiotic nutrition. So this symbiotic nutrition is very much useful for the farmers. So because when they are growing, they improve the fertility of the soil. Thus they grow the fruits plants and the leguminous plants alternatively in the farm, otherwise in the field. So that the soil will be fertilized and then the yield of the crop will be increased. The assignment for this part is first one differentiate differentiate autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition number two write a short note on insectivorous plants number three cascuta is a parasitic plant explain so you can take a notebook and you can write cascuta means the amount so this one you can write in the notebook and you can submit afterwards.